Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today so that we can discuss Rembrandt. Rembrandt stars Charles Lawton as the famous artist. He's at a point in his life where he's just lost his wife. He's struggling to kind of find direction because of, you know, this immense sense of grief and loss and kind of hopelessness. That's kind of moving over into his art as well in that it's changing in tone, which is not resonating with the people who buy the art. He's also having a lot of issues with like uh, selling it like the financial side of creating art and so he's having financial problems emotional problems and it all kind of comes to a head and he's got to face things because serious problems are coming because he's got to pay his bills he's got to figure out how he's going to continue to motivate himself to get up in the morning and that's basically the story here is how he navigates his life after the loss of his wife and all of the spider web of problems that comes from that so I really like this movie. It's not super exciting and it's much more grounded than most modern biopics are, at least I'm, when I'm making this video in 2023. So it's just kind of like a straightforward story. It's very well acted. It's very well directed. The costumes, the uh, set design are all fantastic here. But if you're looking for like a really kinetic kind of movie, this isn't it. The pace is a little bit slow. It's never boring, but it's very deliberate. But the real draw here to me is Charles Lawton. He's just so amazing here. One of his best performances, which is a huge compliment to this term because his career is filled with fantastic performances. You also have El Elsa Lanchester, the uh, Bride of Frankenstein, is here. So it's a good cast. It's well written. It's well executed. I thought Rembrandt was just, it was a really good movie. Very great emotional beats, really good depth. So I definitely recommend it. If you want to see more, you can go to my website, markfusion.com, or you can go right here on YouTube to my movie review playlist. But thank you so much for checking out this look at one of the uh, fine art masters, Rembrandt. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon.